Okay, I thought I would start here with uh, with a fun little spot. You know, I, I, back when I was a kid, I used to love going into my parents' room and looking in dad's drawer. You know, the top drawer of his dresser always had some really interesting stuff in it. And for me, I think the top drawer of my toolbox has kind of become a gathering spot for all sorts of really cool junk. Um, so I thought I'd share some of that with you because, frankly, I'm bored and and maybe you'll get a kick out of it. So got a bunch of funky little patches and stickers and magnets and things. There's a couple bug in dash plaques. I can resist anything but temptation, of course. Here's uh, a couple of stickers from the Love Ride, number nine and number 10, back in the day when I was playing around with Harleys and stuff. Uh, here's a ruler here, Dick Carlson, that was my dad. And this is from a friend of his, Bob Waldorf, the Idea Man, who is a guy that did all sorts of great stuff. Got this killer trophy topper here. This dude tucked down hard with his with his helmet, blasting along. It's a Westfalia camping box sticker. There's a really old school Maui and Sun sticker. Uh, Pacific Coast Volks, that was my club back in the day. I was even president for a short while, and uh, that was some stickers that we had done, uh, which was a really fun time. I uh, got the old license plate off my Moto Guzzi. Uh, here's some more bug-in plaques, a bug-in ticket, love bug sticker. Here's my dog spot. This was taken back when I was working up in Hollywood at a, at a prop place. And we had this giant uh, plastic nipper dog, the RCA dog. And he came back from a rental with his head broken off. And uh, I saw him standing there by the fire plugs. And I just, you know, always being creative, I grabbed a light and put it on his head. My dog spot. <laughs> uh, the convoy badge from Hesheshe. Uh, Oldendorf, the BBT run in 2017. Here's some old VW service stickers for your door jam. Here's a fun one. This was a bookcase, a front end of a VW bus that I had cut off. The thing had been wrecked and I turned it into like a little showcase for my bedroom. And this was back at my parents' house. And you can see I had a whole collection of VW toys in there. And I painted it up to match the crew cab that I had at the time, uh, which was pretty fun. Let's see. This is uh, this is my buddy Chris Cox. He passed away a couple years ago, and I keep his picture here at the top of the toolbox. Um, he was a cool dude, definitely. And I've been helping his wife uh, sell off a few of the cars from his collection and, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so always cheers to Chris. Um, the bear bell for man or beast. If you want to keep yourself safe from bears, you simply clip this to the neck of the bear and then you can hear them coming. Uh, let's see, this is from 1995 from Bad Camberg. Uh, I went over there with my buddy Blue Nelson. Uh, we rented a VW camper, traveled all over the country, had way too much fun. Monster garage sticker. Uh, let's see what else, what else do we have in here. We have a Mercedes emblem there. There's a, a toy from Hesher Soldendorf, 19, or, uh, 2017. Um, here's uh, one of the Johnny Lightning die casts of uh, the custom kind of New Beetle Cup car that I built back in the day. They even went down to the details of getting my phone number on the window. This one's thrashed. You can't see it, but they had the license plate right. They had everything. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Driver's Fest 2000 car show. You know, the horn button. Let's see. What's this? Judy's 69, the Coyote Spring Yeah, that's a matchbook from a whorehouse. Somehow ended up in here. 
Uh, here's a fun little piece. This was from the opening night for Herbie Fully Loaded at the El Capitan Theater in Hollywood. Everybody that brought a Herbie to the uh, red carpet event uh, got one of these cool little plates that was made by one of the local enthusiasts. Killer, killer piece. Oh, and up here on top of this, this is actually a little piece of aluminum body trim off of one of the Herbie Fully Loaded cars. Uh, it's being uh, guarded here by the tattooed... Uh, Hipster Snow White. Uh, it's a cool auto house sticker and business card. Poker run. Thank you, plate. Randy VW. Anyway, getting sidetracked. Institute for Advanced Motorists. Cool little piece. The Lawrence All British Car Club badge. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, Micro Car Museum in Georgia. 190 SL Mercedes badge. That's pretty cool. My dad had a couple of those. Now here's another Herbie piece. This is actually uh, um, um, an air freshener. <laughs> now let's see what else do we have. Carlson Motors. Of course, the last name of Carlson. I'm always looking for anything that uh, has the namesake on there. It's a little dealer badge. Another bug in plate. Gucci's best. Nice little fun tape measure. Some assorted toys. Oh, here's a fun little piece. Now, back in the day, I had this VW uh, split window taxi cab, and I was loading it up with every possible accessory I could find. And I was also, uh, it was kind of during, during my Harley phase as well. And I found that these little visors that were made for accessory turn signals on Harleys and stuff were the exact same size as the uh, 56 through 61 Beetle taillights. And so I bought a crap ton of those and started uh, repackaging them and selling them to VW people. Um, sold a bunch of them, definitely. And now you see them all over the place. Man, I can dig real deep in all of this, I suppose. Here we go. The IBM notepad it says think on it. <laughs> I don't know what to think of that. Uh, let's see. We've got to find at least one more cool treasure here. Of course, it's the Mona Lisa. Got to have her. A little bit of inspiration, a little art, a little culture here in the top of my freaking toolbox. Here, the bed buggy. Check that bad boy out. Look at that mill. Oh, yeah, Corvair power, six cylinder, big knobby tires. Somewhere I've got a whole bunch of old postcards from Barris stuff. There were things that came out of the movie land, uh, Cars of the Stars Museum, which, or movie world. There you go. Got one of the old uh, signs right there. Oh, here's the uh, Chip Foose overhaul and bus. Um, quick story on that. I, I got a call from the producer of uh, overhaul at the time, and Chip wanted to do a VW, and so they gave me a call to try to help them find something uh, to do. And I ended up turning them on to Hot Dog Fred, and anybody that's watched the show saw Hot, Dog's Fred, uh, Hot Dog Fred's bus get done, get it foosed. Anyway, uh, Foos uh, printed off a bunch of these and signed them and gave them to people that were there for the reveal. Uh, and so that's my little souvenir. Um, let's see, there's the 412 wagon that I did back in the day. Here's uh, a picture of my buddy Eric Meyer and I taken in Germany in 1995, standing in front of the schmuck sign, looking like idiots. Um, which, of course, we were <laughs> and still are. Anyway, that's a quick tour of the top of my toolbox. Uh, there's probably other cool things in there. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? Got a B ticket right here for Disneyland. Let's ride. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye. <laughs>